Hi, welcome to the College Scheduler tutorial for the School of Graduate Online and Continuing Education. Log in to Web4, Student, Registration, Add Drop, and College Scheduler. From here, you need to choose the term you are registering for, which brings you to this screen. Check course status. Make sure open and full with waitlist open option is selected and save. Program types. Here's your opportunity to narrow down the search of courses you're looking at. At the top, you'll see a brief description of all the different types of programs that the university offers. So here I have chosen the online accelerated MBA certification program, save. Here you can change the term if you need to, and then parts of term if you want to narrow down your search by just A or B or both, you can do that here. Save. I am now ready to choose courses. As you can see, I already have two courses chosen for myself, but I'd like to look and see if there's any additional courses I'd like to take over the summer, so choose Add Course. From this screen, you can search by subject, by gen ed attribute if you are an undergraduate student, by instructor, by CRN. Now, because I have chosen the online MBA program, when I choose subject, the only subject that comes up for me is management. Then from here, if I choose courses, all of the courses being offered for the online accelerated program in the summer term are showing up here. So if you click on one of these courses, a description pops up. If you like the sounds of that course, you can simply add the course or you can move on and choose a different course. I do like this one, so I will add course. And as you can see, it has now been added to the list over here. If you've added something in error or you've changed your mind, you can just click on the X to remove it from the list. This looks good to me. I'm going to go back to build schedules. From here, you can see all of the sections that are being offered for any given course. There are two sections being offered for the online accelerated program. You'll notice here at the top that we have a disabled tab. There is a third section of this course that's being offered, but this one is disabled for your search because this section is only being offered to the on-campus hybrid program, not the online accelerated. Anytime you see the I icon, you can click on that for additional information. And you can also choose to remove courses from this list as well. Over here, you can add breaks if you have times in your day where you need to make sure that you don't have any classes scheduled. You can do that here. If you're in the online program, you don't need to do that since all of the courses um, that you would be taking are not scheduled for a specific day and time. I'm ready to generate schedules at this point. I have 30 possible schedules. So you can do a thumbnail that would show you if you did have classes that are scheduled at specific days and times, that's what this would be. I don't have that, so that's not helpful to me. I need to view the schedule. As you can see, I have three courses here. These are the specific sections now. If you scroll down, you'll see I have two classes for A term, one class for B term. If you click on any of these weeks, it tells you the start and end date of that particular week. And then again, scrolling down here, you'll see there's no detail because these classes do not meet at a specific day and time. Moving back up here, you'll see this course has no open seats and there are two students on the wait list. Uh, I want to be able to register, so I'm going to look at some other schedules and see if I can find a section of that course uh, that has seats open. So you can view all of the 30 schedules just by arrowing through here. First one I choose after uh, has all seats open, so that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and send that to my registration cart. I am now in the registration cart tab. I am not yet registered for this course. I am only uh, it is only in my cart at this point. If 
From here, you can choose to email your schedule to whomever you choose, yourself, an employer, your advisor. Uh, just fill out this information and email the schedule. You can also edit your cart from here. So if you've changed your mind about one of these courses, you can remove it from the cart here. Or if everything looks good, you can register for the course, choose continue. I have now successfully registered for all three of those classes. You'll notice now that I am on the current schedule tab. Some things to note here, you can also email your schedule from here. You can do what we call a swap where you've decided to change uh, sections or courses entirely. You can just click on swap and you can do that from here. Or you can choose to edit and drop your classes. Also note down here that if you click on the eye icon, it opens up the course with some additional detail and you'll see the textbook option here. This will redirect you to the bookstore so you can order your books right from here. Also here, click here to pay for those classes. For the uh, School of Graduate Online Continuing Ed students, those courses need to be paid for within 24 hours, so you want to make sure that you pay for those. This will redirect you to your bill. So, so I can show you something else. I'm going to choose to drop all of my classes. Now, keep in mind, I am on the summer term. So in the summertime only, you can drop all of your classes from College Scheduler. You are not able to do that in the fall and spring term. If you're trying to drop your last class, you do need to reach out to the registrar's office uh, to request assistance. So I have chosen to web drop all of those classes, which I've successfully done. So I'm going to go back to the build schedule screen and I'm back to these courses here. Now notice they are not checked. So if I try to generate schedules now, it, nothing will happen because I've unchecked all of these boxes. So I've decided that I don't want to do this last class, the Management 9040. I think I'm just going to choose um, the first two here. So now that I've done that, I'm going to generate schedules. Keep in mind, anytime you make changes to your courses, your course list up here, you need to generate schedules again. It doesn't do it automatically for you. So I have six schedules to choose from, so I'm going to take a look at these schedules. Notice that this class is full, but I'm going to show you what happens when you run into that. So I'm going to go ahead and send that to registration cart. And now I'm going to try to register for those courses. This notice pops up that this course is full and it is asking me if I would like to add myself to the wait list. So yes, I would like to do that. So you check that box and choose OK. Confirming that is what I would like to do. And now you'll get a message that I have successfully registered for the following courses. Please keep in mind that first sentence may be a bit confusing. You are not actually registered for the course that you are waitlisted for. Notice the status here. So you are waitlisted for management, or I am waitlisted for management 9035, but I am registered for management 9025. If I choose OK and I'm on the current schedule tab, I can now see this is my schedule and my status is listed here. So I'm enrolled in Management 9025 and I am waitlisted for Management 9035. You can still make changes from your um, current schedule by choosing the edit and you can choose to remove yourself from the waitlist if you've decided you don't want to do that and that will remove you from the waitlist. And at this point, I am now only registered for 9025 because I have successfully dropped myself from the waitlist for Management 9035. Thanks for watching.